including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you. So you can know who your father really was. Why would he say that? Is it because he's afraid something's gonna happen? That the slaves are gonna take over? Marie, the first thing you need to know is that I wasn't always the lord of the pit. Long before I was a king, I was a scholar and a soldier. Scholar? In fact, I was in the Brotherhood of Steel. What? You've probably heard about them, but you may not have heard what we did to the city. The Scourge. When we came here, the pit was just a breeding ground for trogs, cannibals, and worse. The commander had us torch the place and take what we could. The pit had Looks useful like you don't mind getting your hands dirty, killer. But it was suicide to stay here. So when an explosion left me buried in the mill, my brothers were sure I was dead. I don't blame them for leaving. I probably would have. We thought nothing could live in the pit. We were wrong. So, he was a part of the Brotherhood of Steel. They thought he died, and now... He's taken over the place. So it sounds like before then, this place was a really big shithole. True, there's slaves and stuff here now, but, or sorry, workers, but for the most part, it sounds like they're living better now to an extent. Marie, you know those fights in the Mills Arena? Well, its first fight was when I woke up to someone pulling me out from a pile of rubble. Who At was first, it? I thought it was my brothers pulling me to safety. Instead, it was a scavenger trying to steal my armor. She didn't get it. But I learned she had a whole family of scavengers. They'd make raids into the city for gear from the mill. And that gave me an idea. This was the only working steel mill we'd ever seen. In a world of leftovers, it was a chance to build again. And that was worth any price. The scavengers saw me as a god. So along with my brotherhood know-how, it was easy to set up the basics. We started to build a city. Amazing. So, I mean, it makes sense. Pittsburgh uh, Steeler. Yeah. Yeah, Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. No, sorry, not Steeler. <laughs> sorry, I'm thinking of football. Um, they do have, they did do, they did have one of the largest steel places in the world. So, uh, it's not as, not as optional, it's not as operational as it used to, but I can understand seeing how big it is that some parts of it would survive for them to still make it. As word of a new settlement got out, the city started growing fast. When raiders attacked, I'd kill the leader and recruit the rest. Interesting. I the city's disease meant we couldn't have children. So recruiting was... They can't have children? Grow. And as we grew, the mill needed more workers. And yes... That meant recruiting workers by force. I'm not proud of it, but it's the only way to keep the city supplied and armed. But it was always a temporary solution, until our best scientists found a way to cure the city's epidemic. Sandra and I worked on it day and night. <laughs> and after one particularly late night of work, wow. we were blessed with a cure. It's the cure inside you, Marie. Even now, we're doing everything we can to figure out how to share your gift with the city. While keeping you safe, of course. So by the time you're old enough to hear this, you'll already be a hero. Congratulations, Marie. You've already saved us all. I knew you would. That is fucking insane. Love the storyline in this. This whole thing is really well crafted, in my opinion. Like, it's not like in, um... God, I keep forgetting it. The carnival place, you know, the place I hated. You know, there's really only a good thing, and the evil one is just stupid. This one, you really don't know which one's which. I mean, the game points it out to you, but you picking either one, it's so much different than before. This is really the difference between you getting to choose, you getting to have your own choices. Now where is leave without the baby? Complete leave without the baby. Find out Warner's location from Medea. So then, guess now we go back to downtown. 
since we don't have the baby, I'm pretty sure the slaves aren't going to be happy with us. So uh, I love the lighting in here. I don't know what it is, but it really does make the weapons look a lot better. I hear some slaves, and I hear them having the weapons. The auto axes. Well, they aren't very smart, are they? Now then, keep in mind, whether you decide to do something or not, I'll break you. The killing the slaves is evil karma, though you haven't seen it yet. See? They have the auto axes. So, yeah. I believe you can get a unique auto axe if you, um... I believe you can get a unique auto axe if you do the uh, steel ingots thing. Is there even anybody in there? Fuck it. Anyway, we have to go find Warner from Medea. I wonder, could I survive that fall? Whee! Nope. Hey, that was a shot. <laughs> Kill some time. Don't want to fall off that again. I almost did that by accident. Jumpity, jumpity. I think we should make it off this one pretty fine. Yeah, not even any damage. Sweet. Where the hell do you think you're going? See, evil karma, and I hate that, too. You can't give us... That's one thing I really hate about this, too. Hey, Fallout 3, you really can't give us this idea that there's a difference between the two. Can you open this? Oh, well, we can. Sweet. I think this is... Is this a speedway for... Or is that just me? No, I have to go over here, damn it. Well then. Whatever works for you, game. Tons of radiation, as you can see. I don't think I'm going the right way, actually. Nope, fuck me. Well then. But, uh, yeah, I hate that. It's like, oh, there's here's this huge ideal about what you should do with the child. You know, I mean, Asher does not seem like a bad guy. True, he, he, the ideal about forcing people to work for him. Yes, that is, that is definitely the evil part about him. But everything else, you can understand what he's doing and whatnot. I'm not totally against what he does to an extent, personally. So then I guess we just have to protect these fuckers, because they can't protect themselves, fucking idiots. Die, you bastards. So then, this is fun. The slaves are really easy to kill. More or less, if you choose the good side, you actually have a harder time. Okay, you dropped it. Moron. As you can see, not all the slaves are revolting. It's only a few of them. And if you seem to be having trouble with them, shoot the auto axe. It's so big, more than likely you're going to shoot it off. So, there you go. Don't you dare carve into me like that. Some food for the slaves. Oh, never mind, sorry. Wow, you guys are getting your asses kicked by the Death Claw Gauntlet. One of the weakest weapons in the game. Well, very weak weapon, just not as weak as we think it is. Uh, I'm supposed to be going this way, aren't I? Yeah, this way. Looks like the game's trying to say I need to go somewhere else, but whatever. See, not all the slaves are revolting, so woohoo. You can kill them if you want, but I'm just being lazy. <laughs> There's no point, I'll just waste time. Now time for the shish kebab. I would like fried slave, please, with a side of french fries. I've only taken 22 chems? Wow, that really surprises me. Well then, you failed. 
Seriously, the guy just passed out. Or is that a unique one? Yeah, that's a unique one, I think. Oh, no, I think that's just a regular thing. Whatever, I'll keep it. Just for the lols. You guys having fun? Killing each other? Yeah, killing each other's fun. So then, Medea, tell me where we're on a race I can go and kill him for trying to steal a child. Not very smart, are you? Did one of the raiders grab? Oh, is that a chainsaw? I have no idea what that is. Wow. That was funny. All right, then, time to get in here. So I suppose you signed on with Asher and his kind, did you? You're not the first to win their freedom and forget where they came from. I didn't come from here, bitch. You didn't really expect me to steal a baby, did you? No, we expected you to steal the one thing that was both a cure for our children and a hostage to earn our freedom. But congratulations, your petty sentimentality has doomed us to continued slavery and pestilence. Thanks. You want to live, you'll tell me where Warner's hiding. Fine. If it'll get you out of the way, go check under the blast furnace in the steel yard. Look for a rooftop door in the southwest. It's got a blue light. You can't miss it. But Warner will put you in your place. Yeah, sure, whatever. This ride isn't going to change anything except getting the slaves killed. They'd rather die for freedom than die working for the raiders. I'm through talking with you. Watch your back out there. <laughs> oh, I gotta love stupid scripts. I don't understand how to be like, I hate you. You're such an asshole. Be careful out there. Hey, Mr. Snapper Rifle Man. Keep walking, pal. Kick your ass. Anyway. So now, if you don't get where it is, it's actually out where the trogs were, where we went out in the steel yard. Yeah, that's where Warner is, funny enough. But seriously, it makes you feel unkind whichever one you choose. You either choose the slave's freedom, or you take a kid away from their own parents. Possibly even killing them. It's very hard, in my opinion. When I first played, I was like, shit, am I supposed to pick one? But that's something good to make you pick which either one. That's why I like uh, Infamous 2 really well as well. Because I feel like sometimes, like obviously, most of the game, like Fallout 3, has its good and evil moments. Or yeah, you know, uh, fame and infamous moments. But when it really comes down to it, some of the choices you have to pick really aren't a side of good and evil. It's just which one you believe is more, f more important than the other. Which usually is the difference between, um, at least in Infamous, it's more or less whether or not you're... It's not really good and evil, for the most part, but whether or not you're worried about other people, or you're more worried about yourself. In which here, it's kind of the same, except for it's more worried about other people or worried about uh, the life of one child. Anyway, now we're back out here with our good weapons. Fuck yeah. Now then... Ah, lag. No, you do not do that game. I do not like lag. You dare bring lag to my Fallout 3 game? Huh. Now then, we actually have to go up here. You'll probably lose your spot. You have to go pretty far to get a lot of the ingots here, so, uh... Which, like I said, you get some good stuff, but nothing I really consider warning yourself about too much. Here's a few up here. I'll take them for fun. Right away, can always take these fucking things. Oh, hey you. And you're dead. Wow, they can open gates. Those bastards! Now, actually... It's not up there. Where is he? I believe up here, actually. Here it is. Here is Wild Billy. Note from Wild Billy, head wrapped, head wrapped. Wild Billy sidearm. Let's see, uh, where's the note? Because remember the one girl's talking about it? I'm not gonna make it, Millie. I'm sorry. I knew everyone thought I could do it, but they don't know what's out here. It's not just Trogs, but others. The Wild Man, kind of funny considering my name is Wild Billy. Back at the mill, finding the ingots wasn't the hard part. They're everywhere. The problem was trying to make my way back to the mill. 
My trusty sidearm came in handy more than once, but as soon as I found myself in more trouble than I could handle, the gunfire alerted the wildmen, and I assumed it's only a matter of time before they find me. I'm sorry for letting everyone down at the mill. Let everyone know I tried my hardest. Bye. Oh, Warner's note to Medea. What? Wouldn't it be Medea's note to Warner? Oh, no. Never mind. My bad. Anyway, Wild Billy Silo Arm is actually a very unique weapon because it can actually uh, fire as fast as you press the button. Watch. Hello? Thought you could hide, huh? No. Oh, it's a pit slave. Nice. But anyway, uh, it's not really doing it because of the lag. But this weapon is the fastest firing weapon in the game, or at least for the most part, and it's, uh, I'm actually curious. But yeah, it's in, for the most part, if you're playing on a PC, it can pretty much almost fire as fast as you can click the mouse button, so, pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Auto axe is 50, and the steel saw is 30. Now, if I repair it... Yeah, I think it is less damage, so the auto axes are more powerful. Because I believe the steel axes are just supposed to be the regular things the people use. I actually think I'm going too far. Here's more ingots over here, as you can see. Um... Oh, nope, here it is. Like you said, it's hard to miss. Low like me. Alright, Warner. Time to tell you the truth. <coughs> Hiccup, my bad. Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready, and there are plenty of tests to run, so hurry up and put the... Brad... Wait. Where's the cure? Did you lose it? Where is that little bastard? Your plan's over, Warner. Asher knows everything. You never told me I me it meant kidnapping. Oh, boo-fucking-who. You don't think bringing those bastards down is worth getting your hands dirty? No, I guess you're okay with torturing, slaving scum like that, just so long as you don't have to make a decision, huh? One chance, leave now and never come back. Sure, fine. Obviously. 